I'm Sam. And I'm Maddie. And now it's time for CHS Today. Students, remember to turn in your Spartan tickets to the bookstore by Friday, May 20th to be eligible for end of the year prizes. All library books need to be returned by Wednesday, May 18th. Students who are interested in checking out books over the summer may come back anytime the following week, from May 23rd to May 25th. The combined Spanish and French club meeting is today in room JE231. It's National School Nurse Day. Make sure to take time today to thank Mrs. Steiner for everything she does in order to keep our school healthy and safe. The private prom picture link will be posted on the senior Google Classroom. On the link, you can find your prom photos, download them, share them, and print them on any online printing service. If there are any seniors not connected to the senior Google Classroom, they need to email Mrs. Phelps. ECHS Senior Celebration will be Friday at 8.30 in the morning in the auditorium. These seniors will miss first period and all or most of second. Any ECHS teacher that has mostly ECHS students in first and second period is invited to attend as well. National Honor Society hours and SRE tutoring sheets are due by the end of the day on Thursday. The paper copies must be turned in to either Mrs. F Bomber or Mr. Tim Davis. If you need an extension, please see Bomber by Thursday at the end of the day. The career fair came to the Fieldhouse today. Let's take a look. Burton, an employment specialist at Reed Health, and we are here to talk to students today about all the different opportunities that we have at Reed. Um, we have our radiology department here. That's a school that is um, teamed up with IV Tech. Um, and then we also have a bunch of different goodies here that we'll talk to you about positions that you can work as a high school student, um, and then all the different opportunities that will help you once you graduate high school too. Um, so we have them from nursing care assisting positions, office assistants, medical assistants, all types of different programs um, available at Reed Health that it's located in Connorsville and in Richmond. Hi, I'm Christy Gamble, the Human Resource uh, Manager at Hedro Extrusion in Connorsville, Indiana. And we're here today uh, just to um, help the students, um, let them know who we are at Hedro, what we do. We're an aluminum extrusion company and um, hoping to show them some different opportunities right here in Connorsville um, with a place where they can work um, to take care of their family. Hi, I'm Ashley. Um, I'm with Dot Foods, Dot Transportation, and we are the nation's largest food redistributor. So we are looking for people who are, are interested in working in our warehouse and also our transportation side of the business. We do have garage techs, garage tech positions available as well, um, but we have great pay, great benefits. So come see us. Um, it was really cool to see all of the like options that you don't always consider around Connorsville for new jobs and other opportunities in case like I'm not really sure about what I want to do. So, so seeing all the different op options was pretty cool. There were lots of prizes, so that was a bonus. But yeah, everybody was nice and it was a good time. On this day in 1934, a massive storm sent millions of tons of topsoil all across the parched Great Plains. These winds carried the soil so far east that it hit New York, Boston, and Atlanta. <clears throat> this mass amount of dust was the result of over-farming, which caused a dry spell, killing all of the grass and forming an unprecedented amount of dust. Gas prices all around the world are pushing record highs. The United States and Canada have seen a large raise in demand surges. Canadian gas prices have raised a staggering amount of coming out nearly a dollar higher. The U.S. is also seeing prices rise with the cost of a barrel spiking to $100 a barrel. Lunch for tomorrow will be a toasty three cheese sandwich, homemade broccoli cheddar soup or homemade vegetable soup and baked apple slices. Other options include a crispy chicken sandwich or a classic American cheeseburger. We went from spring to summer in a matter of a day. Will these temperatures stay, Cheryl? Thanks, guys. Looking at the weather for today, it's going to be pretty clear skies, and the temperature is going to be high up in the mid-80s. Through the night, the temperatures will drop to the low 70s, and then looking into tomorrow morning, the temperatures will get down into the 50s. 
Looking into tomorrow, the skies are going to be clear again. The temperatures will stay around the same as they will be today. And then Friday, once again, it's going to be the same as today and Thursday. It's going to be 84 degrees and sunny with a low of 60. Saturday, though, we will see some some thunderstorms. We have to we have a 50% chance with uh, low 80s as the temperature. That's all I have for the weather. Now back to the desk. Now over to Nathan with the sports. Thanks, guys. Varsity baseball beat Rushville 6-0 last night. Braden Likens didn't allow a single run against Rushville during a complete game shutout in leading the Spartans. Carzel then got things moving in the record inning, in the second inning, by scoring one run with in Colton DeBoer singled the Spartans, scored three runs in the fourth inning. The offense was led by Chance Bentley and Likens at driving in runs in the inning. The boys had eight hits on the night, led by Braxton Myers and Likens. They will next be in action Thursday at home. The girls track and field team placed fifth in the EIAC last night. Broke suit off one pole vault. Caitlin Sealy won the 400. The girls perform well and will next be in action Tuesday at home for sectionals. The boys track and field team finished third place at the EIAC meet last night. Parker Sweet won the 300 and 110 hurdles, and while Braden Jones won the pole vault. The next meet for the boys will be next Thursday at home for sectionals. There's no sports section for tonight. That's all for the sports. Now back to the desk for birthday. The only birthday for today is Abigail Hoffman. The only birthday for tomorrow is Noah Selby. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Today was the job fair. Find a nice business and get your foot in the door. <laughs> and that's all for CHS Today.